And I know you have a sweet tooth, and if you do not, why not make your way to the Cactus Club for the entire month where a portion of the proceeds of each dessert sold will go towards the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Jody and Riaz, we are here at the brand new Cactus Club Cafe in Coal Harbor. Coming up next, we're going to get a little tour of this brand new location. It's massive. I'm going to give you a hint. It's a massive spot. <laughs> Good morning to you, and this place is absolutely beautiful. We're here at the brand new Cactus Club Cafe in Coal Harbor. How exciting that it's finally open. We saw it getting ready to open, and now it's open. <laughs> yes. <laughs> finally. Yeah. No, it's uh, this is a spectacular. This is our 23rd restaurant now, and uh, our 25th anniversary this year. So what a what a way to sort of bang off <laughs> the the year, so to speak. And it's right? a beautiful spot. And let's maybe talk a little bit about some of the great artwork that's sure. featured here. Sure. The, well, the one we just passed, Richard being the surfer. This is Jim Schwartz, actually originally from California, uh, in Tofino now. And this is a uh, this is kind of one of the feels. I mean, Richard, as you know, with with being a surfer, we sort of paid homage a little bit to Tofino. And this is one thing with Richard art if for him personally is a big deal uh, and these are over here the the Wayne Gretzky uh, Andy Warhols this is kind of uh, throughout this space whether it's here or downstairs we have three torches one that's from Montreal one from Calgary and one from here in Vancouver because we're right here by the Jackpool Plaza and I think that was a really important thing for us to sort of uh, pay homage to and that's obviously the Olympic Games here in Vancouver so let's talk a little bit about this design <laughs> here because this is a unique feature uh, it, ironically I had the, one of the architects was here last night and we were just talking and, and uh, this room was was originally slated and Richard had this whole space to be an outdoor, outdoor patio but what we've done instead is we've enclosed it and this truly is and y as you see this is layered this was not how this space was or originally built so we had to actually make this happen so this sea to sky terrace is what we call it is no doubt oh Ta-da! So, by the way, the windows just opened. <laughs> so it's really cool because when you get those nice days, people will have a choice of being inside, but kind of outside, and then also being outside in this beautiful yeah. patio, which is set to open very, very shortly. Well, yeah, this is uh, one of the cool things: is this these windows opening? This is uh, people actually applaud when these windows open. But I'm gonna applaud. Yeah, it's this beautiful. Is, this is this is truly one of the most magnificent uh, patios it's slash gorgeous. dining in, in that I've ever been involved with. Gorgeous. So. Well, for more details, uh, of course, people can go to the Cactus Club cafe website uh, take a look at this view though Jody and Riaz and by the way we'll have more details about the how you can support the Make-A-Wish Foundation as well by coming here to the Cactus Club but I could just take a look at this all day long it's nice we're plugging in studio here it's a world-class view that right there oh what are we, what are we cooking up in the next segment Rob meatballs meatballs and this is gonna be a recipe that people will be able to make at home right this is a recipe people can make at home and they can have here at Cactus Club excellent we got all those details coming up in about six minutes, Jody and Rias. Look at these, though. Oh. I know you food. guys want to avoid this because you're going to get jealous here right now, but we are going to finish up our Meet the Bulls here again at the Cactus Club Cafe, brand new one in Cole Harbor. Okay, so what are you doing right now, uh, Rob? Well, what we did is we're, you're, going to get, we're going to, you're going to get to try all of this. Sorry, guys. Um, so a <laughs> little meatball, a little tomato sauce, and what I've done is I've taken the meatball, and it's just like, a, like we cook the meatballs in the tomato sauce. So you don't cook the meatball ahead of time in the oven or in the fry pan or anything. It's raw meat into the thing. Yeah, it just keeps them softer, yeah. but it gives the tomato sauce, because my tomato sauce is just basil, tomato, little olive oil. It gives it a great flavor. So all we've done is crush that with the tomato sauce. I've taken a beautiful pasta noodle and bucatati, and we're going to go like this. So this is pre-cooked pasta, right? But at home, like I said, you're going to cook this of from course, scratch, right? Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of spice because, of course, we like a little bit of heat, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little bit of a toss. This is the... I love this part, right? That's okay. I won't get you. You got the white I, jacket on. You're not even splashing yourself no, or nothing. No, I'll go like this. You're like a true professional. Okay, and let's go. Let's go, pasta. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, and then we're gonna take. <laughs> what's that guy? I oh, forget it. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna take a little bit of cheese off the heat. So this is a super simple pasta. It's in my cookbook. It's in your cookbook, which people yeah. can get here. Just very briefly, some of the uh, key items that you have here at this location, because oh. I know that different clubs have different locations. Well, one of the things that I think is doing really well for us is our sushi sushi cones. That's unique to this this one. The meatballs that you see here are doing really, really well. We've got a curry, a curry chicken that's doing really well. These lamb pops that come with the curry sauce that's doing really well. We've got... Uh, We've got a beautiful um, quinoa salad I was telling you about that's so doing well. So many fantastic items. Yes. All available here at the brand new Cactus Club Cafe in Coal Harbor. And I'm going to try a little bit. i got to try the meatball, I think. Jody and Riaz. Coming up next, we will be meeting Nathan. Um, we're going to talk about the good work that they're doing here at the Cactus Club. Is that enough cheese? In combination <laughs> with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. But this is my dream come true. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, Don is a pasta twirler. Mm. Riaz is a pasta cutter. Either way, it looks like it tastes <laughs> different. <laughs> feel the heat, feel the heat. Get that girl a beverage. Hot. Get in there. Yes. Oh. 
I got to think, Nathan, that caramel that you put on there, do you think you got enough caramel on there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Here, let me put some ice cream and you can do some more. <laughs> We're here okay. at the brand new Cactus Club Cafe in Coal Harbor. And Nathan, you had your wish granted. What was your wish? Harry Potter Land. Harry Potter Land. And do you have a favorite character in Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Oh, see, very, very <laughs> easy. Uh, the reason we're talking about the Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation, of course, is there is a bit of a connection. Uh, Rob, maybe tell us a little bit about why you guys wanted to be involved with the Make-A-Wish. Uh, well, we, Cactus has been involved for 13 years now, and I think that this is, you know, for me, obviously, personally, I've got three kids, right? So four, a seven, and an eight-year-old, and, and I think that this is, uh, I mean, Nathan and I spent some time uh, a couple weeks back, and I think for us, this is uh, the month of April, we get uh, partial proceeds of our desserts go directly to make the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and it's, like I said, it's, you know, in this, not, in a, not just in this business, in any business, I think giving back to this particular cause is, it really feels good, and at the same time, you get to eat sugar. Yeah, you right? totally. so it's like, <laughs> Have you had a little bit of sugar already this here, morning, here, Nathan? Here, do you want? <laughs> yeah, what, do you, what do you say? Hit me, dude. All right. <laughs> would actually be helped with the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Uh, anywhere between about 85 and 100 wishes are granted a year. So it's it's very, you know, for the Cactus Club and their involvement for the last 13 years and raising over $75,000 wow. is pretty amazing for us. So That's thank you. amazing. So portion of the proceeds of each dessert sold, of any dessert, let's talk quickly about some of the desserts you have here, Rob. Well, obviously the one, this is Nathan's favorite. This is the apple galette, little caramel sauce. Uh, just just a, little. a little caramel sauce, <laughs> vanilla ice cream. This is our white chocolate cheesecake. And then on the end is our uh, crunch bar we have uh, with a little bit of vanilla ice cream. And this is the new dessert we're just doing here at, at Coal Harbor, which uh, the hippie dude over here, Nathan, just uh, <laughs> had. This is a milk chocolate mousse on the bottom. There's a little bit of uh, almost like a, a, a crunch in the center. And then on the top, it's warm caramel foam. Very nice. Well, for more details, of course, on the Cactus Club. And every location, by the way, is doing this partnership with the Make-A-Wish Foundation for the entire month of April. Everyone take a bite. I won't I won't eat that one, Nathan, because that's probably your favorite there. Jody and Ria's back to you. I'm going to go for this one, okay, peanut go. butter. Which ones would you guys choose? I, this is my calorie count for the day. <laughs> raise our glasses. How about raising a glass to you, Michelle, who's officially now Woo! on vacation. You know, we're just in Cool Harbor. If you leave now, I bet you can make it here before the end of the show and we'll have lots of wine, right, Sebastian? Cheers, absolutely. And we've got some wines that are featured specifically at this location and yes. the English Bay locations only, right? That's correct, especially these two wines. Uh, we've got two Chardonnays. Uh, the first one you're tasting right now is from Chile. It's called uh, Emiliana Eco. And the particularity what I chose those two is one of them is aged in stainless steel tank. So no, basically no makeup. Okay. And the other one is a local wine uh, by the winery called Joa, uh, down in Aramana, and has been aged in oak barrel. So you're gonna see a little bit more uh, creaminess, different. Uh, but in this one, you've got purity of fruits and nice and yeah. tropical. Yeah, and it doesn't taste like that typical Chardonnay, you know, with that heavy oak on it, right? Absolutely. So, which would be the one, this one here that, that we would be, be tasting, that. right? And now you've also got a, quite an extensive wine list at all the Cactus Club cafes, but as we mentioned, uh, some very ones that are specific uh, to this one, including this Chardonnay as well. Let's talk a bit about this device the here. The machine, mm -hmm. so it's a, um, a nice preservation system that uh, keeps the wine fresh for up to 28 days. So you can open any wines you want, and it's gonna be, it says the second way after 28 days than the first day you open it. But you know, I'm noticing you have white wine and red wine in That's the right. same one, so how does that work with the temperature? So there is a, a little okay. divider here, and you got two zones on the uh, on your left is the red at 64 degrees Fahrenheit and on the right is the the white at uh, 45 and we have the exception of one red then we serve cooler because it's a Pinot Noir. Oh good to know and also I think that I've heard before too that people tend to drink their whites far too cold. Far too cold. Right? Absolutely. So in this one you this. can tell a lot of uh, a lot more complexity to it. It's definitely more creamy, rich. More like that quintessential Chardonnay for sure. And just show us maybe as we kind of go back to the studio well, how that all pours in there. I was told that this is your favorite. It is um, the Belle Gloss. <laughs> for more details, by the way, on the Cactus Club cafes and also their promotion that they have with the Make-A-Wish Foundation where a portion of the proceeds for every dessert sold for the month of April will go towards the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You can go to their website and that's my favorite one right that's there. That's favorite one right there. Excellent. There, so Jody and Riaz. Pinot Noir from California. Pinot Noir from California and I'm thinking there is definitely some wine here for Michelle if she wants to make it here because she is officially on vacation and I'm Just officially wishing you all a happy Thank weekend. You. We've called a cap for her. Monday. She's Thank en route. You.